excited that one's yours, but you can't just claim a goat. Alright, welcome back to Sweet Fire Farm. I'm Kelsey, and today we want to tell you about our feigning goats. Feigning goats are kind of a really unique goat. They have a genetic condition called myotonia congenita. Humans can have this too. Um, and it's a condition that affects their muscles. So when they become startled or they're really excited about something, their leg muscles in particular have a prolonged contraction. So they stiffen up and the goats can't move their legs for a few seconds at a time. And sometimes this causes them to lose their balance and tip over. So do fainting goats actually faint? No. No, they don't lose consciousness. They just tip over. They just lose their balance and fall over, yes. So the first record we have of goats that exhibit this stiffness is from the 1880s. A person named John Tinsley in Tennessee showed up with uh, these four goats that all exhibited this myotonia congenita. And from those original four goats, uh, farmers in Tennessee realized the utility of goats with this trait and their other positive attributes and began to spread those genes within their own goat herds. So this is a true American breed of goats. The first goats um, with this trait were kept as kind of sacrificial goats. They'd keep a bunch of feigning goats in with their more valuable livestock like sheep per se. And if a predator came after the sheep, the sheep would be able to run away to safety. And one of the fainting goats would stiffen up and distract the predator while, uh, while the more valuable sheep made it to safety. Oh, she um, but since since then, people have begun to realize the value of these goats uh, on their own. So, feigning goats have a lot of really valuable attributes. They're traditionally a meat breed of goat. They have a better parasite resistance and excellent carcass qualities. Um, so they can go toe to toe with a boar or a kiko for um, carcass grading, but they have better parasite resistance than either breed. So they're used a lot in crosses or just as feigning goats for meat production. They can get very large in size, up to 175 pounds. Um, and they have excellent growth rates and reproductive efficiency. It's not uncommon for feigning goats to kid twice a year and to have twins or triplets. What about the hairs? So, Karen, our other one, is bred to a Nigerian dwarf. Will her babies have myotonia? Very unlikely. She barely fakes. Well, can they have it? It's possible. We'll have to evaluate her kids to see if they have the trait when they're born. But they'd be less likely to be as as she severe of faint as these the two twins are here. These are fainting goats. Try to get them faint. I saw them faint this morning. Okay. <laughs> She's not in any pain or discomfort. And they pop back up like nothing happened. Yeah, isn't it true? What was that about? <laughs> She's giving me this really evil look right now. But the myotonia congenita makes it easier to keep fainting goats contained. They can't jump over fences or climb out of things the way other breeds might. Uh -huh. And they're also easier for children to handle, like 4-H projects, because they can't, they, they can't pull too hard or they'll faint. <laughs>